Still running? Yeah. And we back. So that was basically... Remember how many parts it took for me to get through the... Uh, it didn't take me that long, but it took me a while because the sewer part was pretty big in... Uh, but I said that we're, like, if we're done. And we're not. Because, yeah, we can't go through that door. Uh, oh, you. You look important. Oh, we have to go get the pack again then. <clears throat> we have to go get the pack and put it in there. Uh, so we're going to go do that. That's the only door. And it was the door that we were first introduced to, I think. Oh, the memory's terrible. Now that we've kicked all these ladders down and stuff, it shouldn't be particularly difficult. Just take this because we got everything inside. Everything's been snatched. I'm lost. No, I'm not. I'm just really unconfident in my navigating skill. I was totally fine. Uh, yeah. I'll never finish my story, will I? We go in here. When they said personal battery pack, I was thinking something like the size of a USB stick a scientist would carry around. That is like a big ass battery, <laughs> you know, to just power open a lock. Why wouldn't they just use the same wristband thing as the other guys were? Nikolai's screaming in my ear to abandon you, but we're just, we're just, ah, oh, that actually got me. That's too busy talking. Now he has a flamethrower. Awesome. Now we run. Oh, what the fuck? I thought I was out of his range. Straight back to twatting around with these assholes. Bye. Flies in my face. Let's go up. Oh, was that a, that was a thing. No. It was a save thing. I'm saving like crazy. My rank's gonna be really bad, but like, I've basically used every healing item I've come across as well, so. Ah. Uh, what's behind here? Ooh. Uh, okay. What we got? Oh, we mix these two, we get explosive rounds, which we don't have yet, so that's interesting. There you go, it's so new. Uh, it's immediately getting wrecked over here, so. Did I clear this out? I did not. Okay, so, uh, what are we missing? A tiny green herb. Now we have everything and it's fine. <sighs> this is not really the game for me to be going, hey, yeah, and talking about anecdotes, is it? Because every time I try, I get interrupted by a flamethrowing mega zombie. Uh, super zombie that wants to kill me and everything I love. Stars. Yeah, we do. Stairs? Stars need stairs. Stars need stairs. Let's go. Okay. You could do more than zero. There you go. Run away. Run up the ladder. If you go up, the flames can't get you. Hey, I was climbing. She stopped to look. Uh, 
Oh, he doesn't like stairs. All stars. Stairs. Hey, look, there's a toy ankle. Jumper, jumper. He can't do small jumps. He's too heavy. Too roided out, so it's fine. Hmm. This isn't looking great for us, is it? We're going up the burning building. It's kind of not the way I want to go. Oh, there's a lot of fire on the floor as well. How is the scaffolding that's purely metal catching fire anyway? Wouldn't it just get very hot? Like, I don't think it would, like, unless these are oil coated. Well, oh, so I'm, oh, I can save my game up here. It's fine, everyone. Uh, this is, like, look at this disorganization. I don't even care anymore. Ooh, let's read. We have time. Oh, great. We're also on an exploding building that's on fire. Good day. We have decided to delay. Oh, they delayed it. It's fine. In response to the current situation, everything's been moved to the roof for safety. But the thing we're going to explode, we're going to leave all this electrical equipment that's probably expensive on the roof. Uh, all the employees are to stay home. Yeah, <laughs> stay home. The thing that no one's doing. Like, they really like letting you save your game, don't they? They really like letting you save your game. It's like every five to ten minutes, here's another, here's another save point, here's another save point, and you're like, um... And much more linear. I'm not really doing much backtracking, am I? I've only done a little bit with the toy uncle on that. Let's do this. He is on fire and he's shooting fire and he don't give a fuck. La 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 where is he? Oh, hello. Ni hao. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Electric explosion. Let's just use all of the borderland elements. We're just gonna do everything. What the fuck was that here? Oh, he's doing the dinga dial thing! He's Dingadile. Oh my god, he's Dingadile. Oh. Mmm, punch me into the fire. Jump in the fire, yeah! Oh, what was that? Dash. I like that dash. Respect a dash. Gotta respect that trick style he's got going on. Ooh, yeah, let's go into the fire. Ooh. Ooh. No, I wanted the ammo and you're burning me. So, ooh, that sidestep. I ain't even mad. I kinda am because I'm wasting grenades. Oh, you fuck. Okay, now I'm mad. Mm. Why is my shotgun so tiny in comparison to the grenade launcher? So here's your miniature shotgun. It's being really, really generous with that. Oh, it's not being generous with that, though. Burning. Fire hot. Maybe I can. Maybe you could have told me that I had to do that before I emptied all my grenades. Oh, yay. Ooh, that's no good. Oh, I don't know what accent that was. Just saying it in weird voices now. Stop. Stop it. I'm gonna pen to penguin on you. Oh, come on, man. I hit the big yellow fuel tank. Ugh. How anime of you. Are we... Are we not hitting the fuel tank? Oh, well, I'm crispy. Crispy fried Jill. Oh. 
I don't need easy mode. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm good. I'm good. Shut up. <laughs> oh, dramatic music is playing. Okay, shoot the fuel tank. Don't just lob grenades at him. Maybe save the grenades until we definitely shot the fuel tank. A bit. Smashing through the walls like the Kool-Aid man over here. Oh yeah! <laughs> Oh, hello. You weren't here before, or I was blind. Hello. Maybe if I don't stand in the fire, I will be better off, says Jill. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'll just stand here and just burn my face. Oh, change. Change? Yes, change. Change is good. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Zapped. Um, whoop. Am I dead again? I'm dead again. What is this bad inventory? Bad order. Yes, best time. Nearly said breast time. I can talk, shut up. No, don't do that. That's got a range. I could have got his tank while he was doing that. Oh, you little fuck. Gotta wait until he's halfway through a move cycle, I guess. Oh, I do have ammo. Good. Please stop following me. Stranger danger. I mean, his tank's on fire already. I mean, that might have been me. It might have just been him saying fire to himself, you know. Haha, <laughs> zapped. Oh, I should be using this. This is a good time to use. Yeah, I win! Jill for smash. Oh, he's, he's tenacious. He is a tenacious man. Lol, 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 lol. What's up here that I can steal? This looks important. Ooh. And it, was, it was important. Got shotgun shells. We got handgun ammo. I don't know where the shotgun shells are. Somewhere around here. Or maybe not. Or maybe I won't buy them. Oh, they're on fire. I'm sure they work still. I got a story about a shotgun shell. When I was working in airport security, uh, we had shotgun shells where the trigger had been taken out. Like, the thing that makes it go bang and release all its shot everywhere had been taken out, and they showed you what a shotgun shell looks like, and let each person handle it. And this one kid, this one girl who wasn't very good at this stuff, just kind of dropped it on the table with, like, the trigger end down. And, every, like, some of the guys were like, fuck! <laughs> it's just like, obviously they gave us dud stuff, because I was like, that chick would have had, like, a load of, like, pellets in her fucking face. That's pretty cool, they let us handle uh, C4 as well, and um, when we were in security, and a revolver with the firing pin taken out, and I was like, cool, it was like a Colt Python, it was pretty sick. They're pretty heavy. Obviously they're big metal things, you don't really think about it, like, when you're looking at them in shows, and you think, ah, they're probably like designed to be a little lighter. Revolvers are all metal, the whole frame is metal, so they're, they're actually really heavy. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I should be jumping off a building now because he's just kind of running around. <laughs> Is he dead? Good. I was worried there was a weak point I was missing because it was all on fire. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna. This isn't gonna go well. She is lucky. She isn't lucky. Pretty sure there's a shot like this in Mission Impossible 2 or 3. Somehow, we're fine. <clears throat> and we look like we're at fine health. Huh. Well, that could have gone worse. I'll now go out here and immediately get stabbed by something. Nemesis down. He dead. And I killed him. Good fuck him. <laughs> Jesus, Carlos is turning into that nagging wife. Oh my god, you could have gotten hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of why I did it. It's kind of fun to try and put myself in danger all the time. Seriously, what is it with those kind of people, you know? Oh my god, this is dangerous, you could hurt yourself. Yeah, that's called a sport. <laughs> like, you know, like, it's literally every fucking sport. <laughs> like, and most jobs, <laughs> to some degree, have risk. Oh man, some people don't know how to live. Sure, I'll be scared of shit, but then you're, ne you're never gonna, like, live properly. Overcome your fears. Tears for fears. Hey, it's gun shop kendo. I just really wanted to use this. It's probably the worst time, but. We got a dude. Is there anything in this area? I think there's a lot of things in this area. I want past handgun ammo. And I don't think I can go back over. Oh, I'm so blind. Ow! Oh! Fucking high-vis zombies lying on the ground all the time. Oh, it wasn't high-vis. This gun does nothing. Or oh, I'm just shooting her in the titty and it's not really doing anything. Oh, I'm annoyed with myself because I feel like there's a lot of stuff here and I'm just getting nommed on, so I'm just going to progress. Can we just go through the door? Wait, which one's progress? Oh, well, wait, can I? Stuff? Indeed stuff. <clears throat> oh yeah, we don't have the right things. Um, stuff? Indeed stuff. And stuff. Cool. Really making this uh, shotgun pretty neat. And we're just going to combine these to get space, and we're just going to combine it to get more space. Okay. Oh, there's some more bullets. I won't miss these. And we'll put these here. I will never finish my story of the woes of teaching, but basically, oh, there you go. <laughs> Every time, man. He 
was in the second game and it wasn't great for him. Really sad for him because his daughter's sick with the virus and he has to kill her. And then he gets sad because he's already had to kill his wife. Spoilers. <coughs> Spoilers for the game that came out a while ago. And this is the sequel to. Um, wow, we have nothing. We need to store some stuff. This is crazy. Mm, what's in this? We're just gonna change this to like flame rounds, then put all the explosive rounds in, just then we have something, you know? Because we're just. You can go through the whole RE game with nothing in your box. Oh, I don't know, not combine, move. Move. Uh, <clears throat> put the ammo up here. No healing items, awesome. I really need to keep my eyes open for that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it knew. It's like reading my voice and going, if I say green herb now, a herb will appear. So we go down here in, uh, around here in uh, RE2, and we have a huge sewer level. But this game seems to be a bit more of a whirlwind tour, I have to admit. We're making huge progress. Like, you know, in the sewer, out the sewer, bam, bam, done. That was a very intricate lock removing from gate animation. He is so super not, yeah, he looks so like, oh, I'm trying to get up, miss. Oh, you just shot me in the face. Bin. Yeah. Oh. Reporting for duty, Officer Pustule. Paging Officer Pustule. Why would you page a cop? I was trying to make a joke. I'm bad at those. No. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. Hmm, door, house, dark, don't like, blue, getting RE7 vibes from this area. Ooh, he's got a long, I don't know if finish this. <laughs> that, what a long tentacle you have, sir. Hmm, I don't remember ordering the extra sausage. I'm sorry, that was just what the fuck levels of stupid. Um, uh, oh, I thought we were back here. I was like, what? There was no lock on that door. Which way's progress? Well, we got a look up here, right? This Bauhau motherfucker, I'm glad he died. Surrealist all the way. Um, okay, I take that back, he reads a lot, that's fine. There's a guy behind me, isn't there? Reader's column, he, hey, zombie, wait, I need to read the reader's column. Dear editor, <laughs> I am troubled, deeply troubled. I am a Karen. I remember this one. Someone may get dreadfully hurt because the statue can roll. Oh, it's a, it's a man, Karen. Take the death trap down. I will not. Gotta have a little bit of risk, you know? One day one of the kids gets killed, I mean, Toy Uncle Natural Selection, that's what I'm saying. It's a really bit of a long shot though, if you read this stuff and like, 
it somehow would become of use for you as you're going through. It's like, oh, I know, that old man was complaining about this death trap. It probably definitely actually is a death trap. So we should go and use it and it be integral to our plan in the future. Because old people never get crazy and complain about stuff that is actually of no physical harm whatsoever and are just venting their fears for no reason. When actually it's incredibly secure, but all they can see is a few screws. So they're like, no, it's not secure. That made me jump. Who? Stop giving him weapons. Oh, great. I got shot in the ass. That went through me, that one. Oh, this is going worse than it was going before. Oh. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. They're going to knock it down. Break down the wall. I thought I was shot, but no, it's, it's a cutscene shoot, so it's fine. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that, uh, how that didn't hit me. How that didn't. Whoa! Oh. Can't get free for free. Oh, do a backflip off of it, like Snake would do. Oh, You could have backflipped off of it like Snake would do. There's some kind of nemesis shooting rockets at me. That's my Snake impression. It's terrible. It needs more growl at the end of everything. I don't know what you mean. God, I'm terrible at accents. Just ignore me, it's cringe. Hey look, Toy Uncle. Back up a burning building. That worked out so well for us last time. We keep plummeting down one side, let's go plummeting down the other. No. Great. Hey, he's like that guy in Aladdin. He's like that Aladdin in Aladdin. Do you trust me? I can show you the world. The world. Do you trust me? Oh, I'm glad he read the reader's column too. Um, fucking could have told me. <laughs> Now what? And that did nothing. He wasn't even there. Oh. <laughs> burning. Also burning. Oh, jumpy. And I'm running, 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 door running. Yeah, he can't get through doors. Thanks, Dom. <laughs> he sounds a bit like Dom from Gears of War. <laughs> and he's ripped like Dom from Gears of War. And he's sort of Hispanic, but not really. Like Dom from Gears of War. And this is a petrol station, which is a lot like how Dom died in Gears of War. Will Tears for Fear start playing? <laughs> Why am I ruining this game? <laughs> I ruin everything. All around me are familiar faces. He's just like, what the fuck are you on about? I'm leaving your sorry ass here, you weird Gears of War playing racist. It's 
literally saying that Dom would say to Marcus because they were like broing down every five seconds. His wife wasn't even that hot. Why not? No. Oh. I'm <laughs> just like reeling all over while he's talking to me like, sure thing, I'm very much in pain. Ooh. Oh, motherfucker. I can't get it now, can I? No, I can't. They keep chucking supply cases in places I forget that they'd be. Mm, that's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. I, I like... I like having the supply case. I don't like not having the supply case, and there's no way I can teleport to get the supply case because it might be a good thing. Oh, the stress. Hey, I remember you. I remember the guy on the left. I'm spying. Obviously spying. <laughs> well, that aged poorly. <laughs> the only life that matters is my own. So you're saying... I'm not going to even finish that. <laughs> So, there, oh, there hasn't been a save point for a while, and it's about half an hour in. Pushing too many pencils. Don't notice I'm here. I'm in a bright blue top, and I'm, like, the only other person on the train. That's, how can you tell someone's evil in a Resident Evil game? They have white hair, even though they're quite young. Yeah, all those civilians were trying to save, yeah, no, he just murdered them. Is that a magazine? What a dick. Dick a lie over here. No! Popeye! I loved him. <laughs> Get off the train, shitbird. There's. That's the end of the game. I made that joke like five times. We escaped. It's taken a while to load. I should cut it here, but I know if I say that, it will start up again. There you go. <laughs> ah! Shut up, Tyra. No one wants to sleep with you. She's one of a kind. It's almost like she's the protagonist of some sort of video game. And she has to be unique. Hey, we're back here. You go through this in the second run. Yeah, who did... Who... Who... Dug those graves. Everyone's dead. Okay, yeah, we're going to pause there.